Um, talk to us about the, the reception today. I mean, he hasn't fought in a long time here, and not many times, but it seems like he's still a, a real fan favorite. What did that feel like today? I think I'm just a lucky guy. Uh, you know, Americans love zombies, and you know, saying goes with my nickname. I think there's like a re resemblance, and that's how people remember me, like, like me. If you ask what the what the last 18 months has been like, because he he had a great comeback after the military, and then they asked to go wait again for all the time. How difficult has that been, and what is the emotion been like to have to sit out again? I believe every fighter they go through some sort of injuries, and uh, it was tough for me at first, but I'm coming back stronger. Uh, and uh, you know, if that's gonna drag me down, you know, how how am I able to fight? I guess to make things more complicated, then you have a change of opponent two weeks out. Um, what was that like to, to get a new opponent, and how difficult was it to make adjustments for two totally different kinds of fighters? It's just the change of an opponent. Uh, to be honest, doesn't really affect me that much because I'm a fighter, and it, you know, fighters fight. That's what we do. Uh, and all I'm trying to do is you know, adjust to adjust to the changes. I was going to say, is, is there any chance to change a game plan in two weeks, or is it too late at that point? That was a difficult part, uh, you know, trying to adjust to a new, another fighter with a completely different style. But uh, I also asked uh, for a similar fighter that has a similar style, but, you know, Yair was the only one that took it. So I'm trying to adjust to that. I guess last thing for me, I mean, what do you think this fight means for you? You're still a very popular fighter, but with the time away, it's tough to see where you rank and what title shots could be and that sort of thing. So what does this fight mean and what, what, do, you, what do you hope to accomplish with this one? Just because it's the uh, 25th anniversary, it doesn't really mean that much to me. I mean, although it's a, it is a special event, uh, it's still I'm still standing here as a main event. Uh, 
uh, headlining the event and uh, you know, I, my focus is completely on pr uh, providing a sh show a performance that will uh, stir up the audience. Yair's hasn't fought in a long time either. Uh, was he a fighter you were watching when he was coming up while he was uh, on the sideline? Yair is a good one. He 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 is a good one. Because Yair, uh, he has a he has his own style. He he stands out. So I was yeah I always had my eyes on him as well. And yeah I because he's in the same featherweight division as I, I knew that one day I would have to face him. What has he made of the featherweight division the past year? With the, the champion's been hurt, he hasn't fought in a while. He has a featherweight title fight coming up. What does he think of the division as a whole right now? The featherweight division is like the most exciting division in the UFC at the moment, and you know, having heavy changes with the uh, champion of featherweight. He thinks it's quite normal. What does he think of Max as a champion? I think Max is a champion. 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 I think Max would stay as a champion for quite a long time, so he's going to go up there and catch him. Thank you. Thank you.